Hello YouTube, welcome to another No Bullshit tutorial. Uh, today I am going to be teaching you guys how to build a 100% safe, no meltdown guaranteed nuclear reactor for Tekkit. Um, so, let's get started then. What we will need is in this chest. So, uh, we will need a nuclear reactor, 6 reactor chambers, an MFSU, 4 times insulated high voltage cable, a high voltage transformer, some red alloy wire, a thermal monitor, a lever, a filter, some stone, uh, a pneumatic, some pneumatic tubes, energy collector, an energy condenser, a timer, some ice and a whole load of uranium cells. Okay, right, now to begin with I'm going to build the reactor itself which is pretty simple. So get your chamber, get your stone, put it down, get a chamber, stick it on top, uh, your reactor core, delete the stone, stick chambers on every side, like so. There we go. So this is the biggest reactor you can get and take it. Um, it's got all this lovely space for uranium rods. So that's basically that. And right now for the basically the fail-safe switch. Um, so you need a thermal monitor. Uh, you just crouch hold and stick it onto the reactor itself. Get some wire, redstone wire, and stick that along there. And get your lever and just again with the crouch and stick it on there. Um, now what this does is when the current, when the temperature goes up on the thermal monitor above what is currently specified, at the moment it's by default 500, the temperature goes above that, a redstone current will be put through and the lever will go down turning the reactor off thus preventing a meltdown. Right, so for the moment we'll just, we'll just leave it off and so Get your high voltage transformer, stick it at any side you wish, and just make sure that the three dot side, which is your input, is the side that you connect your high voltage cable to, like so. And right next to that you can stick an MFSU, any way you like, as all the outputs on the high voltage transformer are on every side. Right, so that's basically, that's your basic reactor your basic reactor. Um, now for the cooling, uh, so this is where you need your pneumatic tubes, uh, your collector, your condenser, your timer, your ice, your filter, and that is it. So this is how we do it. I'm going to make this a bit bigger um, just for the purpose of this tutorial, but you can have it as small as you like and of course you don't have to do it the exact same way um, so get your filter, put your chest down there get your filter, stick it in here but make sure that the small hole in the filter is pointing towards the pneumatic tubes otherwise the filter won't extract any ice from the condenser so get your collectors Stick them either side of your condenser, stick some ice in there, and it will start generating. Mark 1 collectors are <coughs> generally enough um, to power such a large reactor. And just to capture any excess ice that bounces back, I'm just going to put a loop system in here. Um, now you can either bounce the ice back into the chest, or you can pump it elsewhere, or discard of it completely into fire or lava or whatever. Um, so that's basically the cooling system built. So get the filter, get 64 blocks of ice and stick it in your filter. Get your timer and set the delay for 7 seconds. Now as you can see already it started working and it's just pumping blocks of 64 ice into the reactor itself. Um, this is obviously for cooling so at the moment I'm just going to take that away we don't need this just now and we'll take this ice out now to fill the reactor with uranium and um, we need quite a lot of uranium for this one 
Um, right, let's go. Quite a lot. Just take it all, in fact. There we go. And just fling it in. No particular order. Um, there's, there's no reason to have any order with this build. Just fling this in here. I'm going to need more uranium. I mean, you're looking at this thinking that's, that's quite a lot of uranium. But trust me, it works. Right. Uranium, let's get this done. There we go. Right, and that's enough uranium. These slots are for ice. So we'll get your ice. Get the filter, oops. Let's take the filter down. Fine, seven seconds is sufficient. Um, so let's just let this fill up. There we go, and that's the reactor ready to go. As you can see, this ice uh, is just going around the loop system, back into the chest because it's no longer required by the reactor. And uh, let's just turn it to daytime and turn the reactor on. There we go. As you can see, MFSU is being powered at a blazing rate, and the ice is keeping it cool. Just like that. It's only been on for a few seconds and the temperature has not risen above the default 500 in the thermal monitor. And just to show you that this reactor will not blow up, I'm going to take away the filter. Give me that back. Oh sorry, the timer. I'm going to take the ice out of the machine. There we go. A bit of smoke. That's fine, the temperature will go back down as the red current is going through, which meaning the reactor is powered off. As you can see, the MFSU is no longer filling. And that smoke will go away eventually, but that's just because the temperature got a bit high there. That's fine. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, the smoke is gone. The reactor is still remaining off. Uh, if ice or coolant is applied to the reactor again. Let's just check this out. Let's see if this works. It will stabilize itself and turn itself back on once cooling is received, like so. There we go. Just like that. There we go, as you can see the MFSU is powering again. And you can power as much as you want off of this nuclear reactor. Just remember that you need to replace the uranium rods now and again. And this system is pretty much good to go. Leave it, it will you know, power away, no problems. Uh, the only maintenance you do need to do on this machine is of course change out the uranium rods uh, when they're spent. Um, now, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you found it useful, rate, subscribe, comment. Uh, any questions? I uh, will get back to you when I can be bothered. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers. See ya.